That's right. I'm Agent 47. Don't flatter yourself, shitty movie. I just had this stuff lying around. I didn't go out and buy it for the sake of reviewing you. Agent 47. So Hitman Agent 47 is keeping up the strong tradition of making a shitty movie based off of a good video game. In this movie you have a Hitman, his name is Agent 47 because he's the 47th. He's genetically altered, he's smarter, he's faster, and he's going after this girl, and this girl's going after this guy, and Zachary Quinto's in the movie also. And they do this big briefing at the beginning of the movie, it's like, oh by the way there were agents, and then this experiment, this experiment, this experiment, and now we're here. For the sake of catching you up to speed of this whole plot, it's so much information overload in the very beginning, they're like, alright, you're supposed to care now, right? And you don't. You don't care at all because in the end, it's still a shitty movie. We'll talk about what's good. First of all, I like the hitman. Not just because of the way he dresses. The fact is, he's kind of a badass. For being so emotionless, he brings the most life into a lifeless movie. But he was like Jason Voorhees. I mean, this shit is just unreal. I mean, Zachary Quinto and this girl are running for dear life. They are running. This dude, he never runs. He just walks and you're like, hey, hitman. It's pretty advantageous to keep pace with your prey. They're running their asses off, they stop, they turn around, and this dude who has only been walking is like right behind him, just still walking. It's like Jason Voorhees. It worked for a campy slasher flick in the 80s because it was a campy slasher flick in the 80s. We're in 2015 and this is a hitman. It's just, it doesn't work in my mind's eye. But I did end up liking the dude in this movie. Plus, he has some sweet shootouts. This dude is just, he's kind of, they're channeling their inner John Wick. This dude is just shooting everybody. He's just blam, blam, headshot, 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 and you're like, I love Love it. But it goes so far as to show how accurate he can be. He shoots a gun away from a dude. Zachary Quinto is like, he can't die. Well, he can't get shot because he has like Kevlar skin. So you're like, all right, you shot the gun away from him. If you can do that, you could have shot him in the eye. I'm just saying you could do that. And when you're deconstructing the movie, you're not enjoying the movie. And so the movie just, it's kind of, it's a wreck. Because the dialogue in this movie, holy shit, it's not good. There's a scene where Quinto gets stabbed into his Kevlar skin. He like flexes and breaks the knife. But he says something really cheesy. We're talking like, I forgot what he said, but it was a remark that was just like, did, come on. If he had not said anything, it would have been more effective. He just, bam, flexes and breaks the knife or whatever the hell happened. You're like, oh my god, it's like he is, what is he? And later on, they explain and it would work with the movie. Throw out a cheesy ass line, case in point, because that's what I remember most about that fight sequence is the shitty ass cheesy line. It's like for every neat stylistic scene where the hitman's like on his back and springs up with his legs, starts shooting behind him. For every moment like that, there's like three or four or five shitty moments where you're like, that was just dumb. The movie is not clear in what's driving its plot and it's not detail oriented. The girl in this movie, she's supposed to be really smart too and at first you're like, oh yeah, she just like deconstructs things and sees things and sees probability kind of like a you know, Sherlock Holmes. But then it goes so far as you're like, is this girl psychic or something? When this girl sees, she shows like her mind's eye does this like iris effect where you're like, oh, it's clearly what she's seeing, right? She can see the hitman, but she's never seen the hitman before, but she sees him walking in the building. She's like, oh my God, who's that? It's more than deconstruction at that point. She's getting images. She touches a dude's hand. She starts getting images again. I'm like, are you psychic? Lady? The movie doesn't do you the courtesy because I don't think the movie knows what it was trying to do with that. Guys, in the end, Hitman Agent 47, I enjoyed the Hitman person himself. Zachary Quinto would have made a good villain if he didn't have a shitty script to work with. Lots of wreck, it's a mess, it's not cohesive, and the one-liners are terrible. Some of the action shootouts were pretty neat. There were some stylistic things that happened in the movie where you're like, oh, that's neat, maybe I'm not gonna dog shit it up. Without those moments, movie, I would have crucified you. Now I'm just gonna do you the courtesy of killing you. Point is, Hitman Agent 47, you're not gonna remember it in T-. -minus a couple hours. Yep, already forgot. I swear to God, at this point, I would usually write off video game movies entirely, but Warcraft has not come out yet. If Warcraft sucks, forget about it. Just do away with it. No more video game movies. All right, so Hitman Agent 47, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Did you prefer this one or the Timothy Oliphant one? Whatever you think, comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.